Both our guests appeared in Ashatana's report there. We're joined now by the Cabinet Office Minister, Francis Maud, and the head of the Civil Service Union, Mark Sawatka. It's an extremely difficult message to sell, the one you are selling. Have you done enough on the ground amongst the membership of his union to sell it? Well, I, you can always do more, for sure. But I think uh, civil servants uh, in particular have actually listened to what we're saying and realised that there are serious talks still going on. The PCS ballot today, only 32%, less than a third of Mark's members took part in that ballot at all, and only less than one in five, less than 20% voted in favour of strike action. Because most civil servants know perfectly well, despite what Mark's trying to be, Mark's done a great job trying to stir up people, scaremongering, all of that. But actually people know that at the end of this, it's our intention that public sector pensions should continue to be among the very best available. You know, across the private sector, people haven't, by and large, got access to well, pension schemes where they've got a guaranteed level of pension. Those well, schemes have gone, but we're determined that they will continue to exist in the public sector. That, that's quite an assault. You, you, you haven't got a mandate, according to the Minister, and um, you, you're a troublemaker. Well, let's set out the facts. Uh, we have 100,000 of our members first losing their jobs in four years. We've had a two-year pay freeze, although inflation is running at 5%. 60% of our members earn less than £20,000 a year. And 60% of them didn't bother to come out and vote about it. And the one, thing, the one thing, John, that uh, they thought they had, a pension, renegotiated with Labour five years ago, National Audit Office says it's costing less to the taxpayer every single year. They're now told to work longer, treble their contributions, and they get half Stop. the amount. Now the ballot no, turnout is that's the, nonsense. the ballot. That's it not is not. It, you know that's no, not true. It is true. You know that's not true. It's, when you take, well, let me, let me finish is, my you've point. been rumbled by your members. No, no. That's when why you they take into account the you've changed the indexation from RPI to CPI, you're halving the accrual rates, no, you're ending not. the final we're, we're, we're salary scheme. That's all. Then it is a cut of half. It's all being discussed. Let's pause there for a moment because can I talk about the ballot turnout? On the ballot turnout, I'm very clear, John. I'd like a higher turnout. Francis knows, as I do, that in postal ballots. This is generally what people get. And if Francis really wanted a higher turnout, I challenge him tonight to do something I've asked them to do for the last 10 years. Allow internet voting, secret voting in the workplace, postal balloting, turnouts would treble. He knows that because we have the most restrictive union laws anywhere in Western Europe, it is very, very difficult well, on the postal ballot to get the turnout. <laughs> well, uh, the truth is that actually postal ballots, people can get very high turnouts in postal ballots. In fact, uh, in the last uh, Labour government, the government was proposing having all per postal ballots and did some pilots mm. in order to drive turnout up because well, they said physical voting depressed turnout. Let, so let, it simply isn't the case that postal ballots depress turnout. Let, let, the fact is, your members have yeah. rumbled you, Mark. Well, because agree they to make it easier to vote because, they, because they hear you saying... Allow, allow them to vote in the workplace. The allow them is, to Mark, vote by the let, Let's move on from... You and let's move on you, You've made the case for, for a better system. They don't believe you anymore. That's you, why they're not voting you, for you. You've made the case for the better system. Let's deal with the content, because the minister says you're not telling the truth on the content. First of all, just very briefly, set out your case and, and then you answer it. Well, we want there to continue to be defined benefit pension schemes. We've committed to that. That's where you know what the benefit is, the pension is you're going to get when you retire. We're committed to that. They don't exist in the private sector. They've been pretty much eradicated throughout the private sector. And other taxpayers who are paying contributions every year through their taxes to pay for these pension, public sector pension schemes they're going to be pretty fed up at the idea that Mark is boasting about how he's going to close down job centres, close down services on which some of the most vulnerable people in our society depend, uh, in order to uh, promote people paying more for the public sector pensions that his members are going to enjoy, right. which actually people in the rest of the uh, let, private let, sector let, have no prospect of enjoying you, themselves. Fra Francis gave an example this morning, claiming we had big pensions. If the example he no, used, if he used the example, it, it relied on people living till they were 105. Not true. So the average wrong. civil no, service no, pension, just, 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 the average civil service pension, four thousand two hundred pounds no, 7, 000, a year. Four thousand two hundred pounds a year for the lowest. Two thousand and nine. Oh well, we the, have, see, we that, have that, changes. He didn't say that earlier. We have changes in the pension scheme agreed. That means we're already working longer. We've already agreed changes in contribution rates five years ago. 
Now the National Audit Office say these changes are working so well, our pensions are costing less every single year. Well, that's a good but, point to but, put to the Minister. But, why, but let's, if you've, but let's man just why, deal, why, if you've let, managed just, to start so well, mm. has it now fallen apart? But let's just deal with no, that no, point. No, let me ask it? that no, question, no, no, because to, he's I'm just made to, the no, case you that you said, have made a no. good settlement at some point, yeah, you, but it's now falling apart. No, I'm going to deal with the point that Mark just made, because it absolutely illustrates why his members are losing faith in him and aren't voting for what he recommends. You said earlier the average civil service pension is £4,000. Not true. Simply not true. You've just added that that's for the lowest paid, which is true. But actually, average civil service pension, which is what you were talking about, is £7,000. So you were saying something that wasn't true. You said a lot of things that aren't true. And that's why fewer than one in five of your members well, voted for what you want. I didn't come on to trade insults, but Francis knows it's, it's 7,000 when you add in the highest paid senior civil servants and civil the permanent service secretaries. Pension. I represent 80% of the civil servants who are on the lowest pay rates. And what matters to me is what's happening to my members. The reality is, John, that we've made changes five years ago with Labour. We now have a pay freeze, job cuts, assault on our pensions. And Francis has been telling everyone today that he wants to carry on talking. I'll issue, well, another, I'll issue another we'll challenge to him tonight. To carry on talking. In four months of talks... Have you stopped talking? Uh, no, no I'm sti not. I still attend the meetings. Mark was but at a meeting last week. In four week months with, of talks, with John, all of the public Francis, I've asked him, has ruled out progress. explicitly no compromise on pension age, no compromise on contributions rising, no compromise on RPI, CPI, no compromise on imposed final salary schemes. Now, you can talk as long as you like, but if they're implementing the cuts, if nothing is changing, right. we clearly have the right to take industrial action. And whilst Francis may comfort himself with the turnout, I ask him to come back on here on the 30th of June with me when he will see three quarters of a million public sector workers on strike. Well, let's right see, is there any way of avoiding the 30th of June? Is there anything you can give? Well, we can say that there's a huge amount still to discuss. I mean, Mark talks lower pension age. Mark talks about um, lower contributions. Well, are you seriously suggesting that civil servants should retire as a matter of right earlier than everybody else? That, I'm that seriously suggesting that their rights are, are honoured and they are not forced to work till 68, which is what you're forcing them to do, <laughs> including the, the, prison officers, by the way, including people doing hard manual see, Mark, jobs, teachers teaching till yeah, 68. Sure. This is all in your changes. The, the, the pension age, the state pension age, which affects everybody right across the piece, whatever sector they're in, that doesn't come in till 2046. It's coming in, in though, isn't it? Yeah, 2046. Increase for some way people down the line. five years. Way in beyond the your time, you time. and I will have retired. And you know, Francis, as well as I do, if people have got contracts, if so they've had a lifetime kind of, of low pay because they were promised a pension, for you to ride in and tell them from your privileged position their low pay will continue, their incomes will be slashed. Now, their pensions will be slashed is actually the a disgrace. pensions aren't going to be slashed. A disgrace. I, 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 want, to carry, simply, I, want, to, I want two quick points to end on. The, fir the first is, are you thinking about the public that use your services and who themselves are really feeling the squeeze? Yes, and the public, I predict now, will support us in their tens of thousands on the 30th because they recognise... This is not just about pensions, it's about the services and cuts in jobs that he's making, which means working people in this country, wherever they live, will have a worse community and a worse society to live in. That's why this will be such a popular state. And your response, Minister? Mark, your own members aren't supporting you. Your own members don't believe Let's your rhetoric. Let's talk on the 30th of June, They don't, remember, they if, don't if believe you, what you're saying. If you arrogantly will sit here, right, not taking attention to the fact that three unions representing professionals have voted 90%, 84%, 61% of on, those who voted. The turnout, let's talk you about ignore the turnout, them at your peril. 40%, you ignore 34%, them at your peril. and in your case, 32%. Gentlemen, we're, we're, we're ending as we began on the whole question of turnout, but there's clearly many issues, and everyone must hope that the two of you and the other union leaders can get together and well, save we the country this we're, particular We're meeting next th week. Thank you very much, both of you, very warmly. Thank you.